Welcome to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we'll be reviewing the infamous Muzani. Muzani, also known as Celluloid Nightmares, is a 1999 found footage pseudo snuff film written and directed by Desuki Yamanuchi. The film is presented as a documentary and is hosted by a journalist named Kazuyu Fujimori. The documentary, titled Muzani, follows Fujimori as she investigates the disappearance of an adult fetish actress named Mei Surumi. We discover that Surumi was somewhat of a figurehead within the pornographic fetish movement known as menstrual mania, where film shoots were scheduled around actresses' menstrual cycles so that they could film authentic sex acts focused specifically around menstrual blood play, a segment in the film that is documented in detail and graphically shown. We find out that while shooting the ninth menstrual mania picture, Surumi went missing, and her whereabouts have been unknown for the past two years. Fujimori begins to interview various people within the adult entertainment industry and discover that a rumor has circulated, stating that Surumi was murdered and a snuff tape was made detailing her abduction and death. Though many claim that the tape is nothing more than an urban legend, Fujimori and her documentary team decide to seek out and find this rumored snuff film. Eventually, they catch a lead, and they agree to meet up with an anonymous man who claims to have a copy of the tape. After a somewhat questionable and sketchy interaction, Fujimori finally is in possession of that snuff tape, and decides to immediately return to the studio to see what the tape entails. And fortunately, or unfortunately, we as an audience get to watch the tape right alongside her. In addition to the tape, Fujimori is also given a letter written by the killer detailing the murder and the motives behind it. The tape opens up to the unseen killer operating his camera as he approaches Surumi while she waits to be picked up and taken to her scheduled ninth menstrual mania shoot. Pretending to be part of the film crew, the killer lures Surumi into his car, where she is attacked and then taken to an undisclosed location. Surumi regains consciousness, and realizing her circumstances, desperately fights for her life, but is stopped by another assailant. The men continue to taunt and torment Surumi, until they ultimately decide to take her life. By the time the tape is over, Fujimori has become physically ill. The film crew's next step is to analyze the tape and see if they can figure out where Surumi's murderers took her and to identify who they are, leading up to a climax that takes the narrative into a surprising and unexpected direction. The term Muzani roughly translates to pictures of cruelty and refers to a type of art style made of woodcut prints depicting scenes of extreme sadism and sexual violence, which originated out of Japan during the 1800s. A fitting name for a film centered around menstrual blood play and snuff. Though mockumentary films like Cannibal Holocaust, 84 Charlie Mopic, The McPherson Tape, and Man Bites Dog had come out years prior, in 1999, found footage and pseudo-snuff cinema was still in its infancy. Muzani was released in Japan only about seven months after the Blair Witch Project was first screened at Sundance. Understanding this context, Muzani is an impressive and brutal early entry within the found footage genre. Looking back on Muzani over 20 years later, the film still holds up to this day. Its premise and structure still remain unique, which is an impressive feat considering it belongs to a genre that unfortunately has become oversaturated, bloated, and diluted with hundreds of poorly produced features regurgitating the same recycled formula. Whether you're a Pinku and Category 3 enthusiast, or a pseudo-snuff and found footage diehard, Muzani is a film that seems to have a little something for everyone, as long as you have a strong enough stomach for it. Before I end this video, if you're a fan of Cinema's Underbelly and are interested in checking out some of my other projects, make sure to visit my podcast, The Uneasy Terrain Explorers Club, where I examine different aspects of fringe culture through film, art, 
ideology, and lifestyle. Also, make sure to check out my label, Putrid Productions, where you can purchase films that I've released, check out my photo book series, and snag merch of my various projects. As always, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.